So there's rumors going around that CM Punk may be heading back to WWE soon. But the question is, are any of those rumors true? According to Fightful Select and other sources, reliable sources, um, you know, those close to Punk said he's been in talks with them, even, you know, since the end of last year, you know, into the beginning and into the beginning of this year. You know, there were talks of him wanting to show up at the Royal Rumble, you know, him wanting to feud with Kevin Owens and such. But none of that came to be. All because WWE didn't want to uh, do anything. Basically, there was no, like, you know, um, response or, um, re I guess you could say, receipt. I wouldn't say receipt, but uh, recoup. Um, what, what's, the, what's that word we look for? Uh, response, you know, resend, wh whatever the word is. Basically, there was no, like, hey, you know, you know, we'll, we can talk, but there's probably no chance of welcoming you in, right? You know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, apparently, you know, he wanted to go back as early as the beginning of this year. Now, this report that he could be basically WWE bound since he's been fired, but the question is, is that going to happen? Since basically being fired means he could still have some, you know, non-compete issues um, contractually, like, you know, you know, he's, you know, like Tony Khan and AEW fired him, but, you know, does that mean he can co just go anywhere he wants, or does that mean he has to basically uh, wait it out for as long as maybe a year, maybe two? We don't know. But, yeah, apparently, you know, there is speculation he could show up in WWE. Some are even speculating it could be as soon as Survivor Series, which is in Chicago at the Allstate Arena. But we don't know. We don't know whether or not that's true. We don't know if CM Punk is even considering WWE. I mean, again, sources, people close to him tell, you know, very reliable outlets like FIFO. Uh, yeah, he, you know, he wants to, um, he wants to talk. He wants to work something out. So obviously he's willing, uh, I guess, to put any past tense, you know, any past issues uh, that he's had with WWE aside and, and do business. When and where that happens is totally up to WWE and CM Punk. Now, I know some people, and, and I even hear others talking about this, people say that CM Punk would not do it. CM Punk may, you know, may talk about it, may consider it, but he's not going to do it. All because of certain people still in charge. And that, that might be true. That might be true. Maybe he has some truth to it that, hey, you know, as long as Vince is around and this person is around, there's no way Punk would want to show up. But I think when you look at it from a perspective, if you will, there's that old saying of time heals all wounds. And I think Punk has grown enough, you know, maturity-wise, to be able to, you know, difference, you know, both, you know, AEW and WWE as not being the same. I mean, everybody would say, I mean, I know people are going to say, well, if Punk could blow up backstage at AEW, you know, for little things here and there and want to lunge at his boss, what's to say he wouldn't do it here? Well, one, it's because WWE, the big difference with them is they're ran by people that have experience in the wrestling sports entertainment business, and they're going to be owned by a conglomerate that has experience in sports and entertainment separately and together uh, in Endeavor. So he's going to be with people. He's going to be working with people that basically will, from day one, will not tolerate any BS from him. You know, like they may allow him, you know, to be who he is. They may allow him to be himself, you know, and go out there and, and work shoot or shoot, if you will, and say what's on his mind. And maybe if he's in a program, work that, you know, work what he says into the said program, if you will. But they're going to let him know, oh, and he knows this for a fact. He's going to let them know, hey, we're not going to tolerate any of your crap, you know, um, if you're going to come back. We're not going to tolerate any of your crap if you're going to come back. I mean, I think Alex 
just Alex, if Alex is well said it best, they're going to have him on at least this short if he decides to return. And that's a fact. That is a fact. You come back after you've screwed up or you've done this, you've had a you know, past tense history with the company, you know, they're going to have, they're going to have, a, they, they're going to have you on a leash this short, and they're going to have eyes on you so close, you know, so close, they're going to have eyes on you, like, you're going to be, like, you're going to be, I mean, people say Punk's paranoid now, you know, they say he's paranoid now, you know, depending on what kind of deal he has with them, his paranoia may go up or may be settled. You know, in other words, you know, in other words, he'll have an indicate like, you know, with AEW, he always felt like, you know, people were out to get him. You know, they were out to get him and all that. But, you know, he uh, basically, uh, basically the reason he felt like that, um, if you will, is because of the fact that the backstage, it wasn't, you know, organized. It wasn't run properly. Like, let's say what WWE does. So, to me, to me, honestly, you know, he'll be, like, he may not like hearing that, but, or even having that indication given to him, but he'll be more, you know, understanding, more accepting of it, um, if you will. You know, he'll be more, like, prepared. Because they're going to tell him right off the bat, hey, we aren't going to deal with your crap here, you know, right off the bat. Like, before he even steps foot into an arena, you know, they're not going, they're going to let him know, hey, you know, this is how long of a leash we're giving you. We're going to give you your freedom to say whatever you want. You know, maybe work into whatever program you're going to be part of. But we're not going to take any of your other BS behind the scenes. And they're going to basically be watching him, you know, like a hawk. Probably. Like I said, they're going to be watching him like a hawk, basically. That's with any job. Any job that fires you or whatever, they're going to, if they bring you back, they decide, hey, we'll give you a second chance. They're going to watch you like a hawk. And I think in this case with WWE, he knows that. He knows that. And again, just in case people are wondering, well, why would they bring him back? He's burned that bridge. Do the names Hulk Hogan, Bruno Sammartino, Bret Hart, Ultimate Warrior, to an extension, Randy Savage and the Possible family, does that ring a bell? Does that ring a bell? Of course it does, because they brought them back. They've given, they've reconciled with them, and they've given them a second opportunity, you know, to compete in the ring or have some kind of association with the company. You know, so to me, CM Punk is going to be no exception. You know, if if things turn out right things turn out right and everything and they meet and they can basically, you know, put the, you know, hold on for a sec. No, I don't want to do that. But like I said, they could just put like the path behind them and everything. I think they'll be good to go. They can reconcile, put the, whatever past issues they had behind them. I think they're good to go. And a lot of people have said it best. Nick Khan, once this Endeavor deal occurs by the end of this month, according, according to reports, Nick Khan will be the one that has the final say. He will be the one that has the final say. You know, and whether or not Punk is welcome back. And you, know, you know, there's that old saying that Ben Hurst said he heard when ABC... Um, uh, took over children's programming on Saturday mornings and stuff. There's that old saying of percolate down a new broom sweeps clean. Once Endeavor takes over, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be percolate down new broom sweeps clean. And they might say, look, whatever Punk did in the past with you guys, you know, this is a new era. We're the ones running the ship and everything now. You know, and, and we're willing to give them a second chance, especially if that's the, especially if that's the means of getting SmackDown to remain on Fox, so be it. You know, so be it. So I think, honestly, for anybody that believes Punk wouldn't be WWE bound uh, within time, you know, again, remember, 
they've reconciled with others in the past, those that I've mentioned, as well as they have a new, they're going to be entering a new era, a new chapter in their existence. Well, Vince McMahon isn't running things anymore. It's Endeavor. It's Ari Emanuel. So, to me, do I think CM Punk could be WWE bound uh, in the future? Yeah. Do I think he could be WWE bound as soon as Survivor Series? Possibly, but we don't know. We don't know. We'll have to see. Though, I mean, some people believe, you know, hey, they might just wait, you know, a year or two, six months to a year, give him a cooling off period, and then if they do bring him in, it'll be after Mania. But we'll see. We would we had, we would have to see. But I think, yeah, if you know, if you know, if things are panned out correctly, and the and a, and a meeting is made and everything to where they can reconcile and put this past behind them, especially with this new chapter in WWE's existence on the horizon, then yeah, I definitely see uh, CM Punk being WWE bound. Again, he might have a short leash and everything and all that and might have eyes on him like a hawk. But yeah, I, I think if things turn out if they're able to work things out and put the past behind them, I, I think he could, I think he is going to be bound for WWE. There's no doubt. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind. And, and if, again, if you don't think that's possible, look at all the people I mentioned from Bret Hart, Hogan, Warrior, Savage, you know, the Popo family by extension, Bruno San Martino, you know, they've all had issues with these people in the past and they've reconciled, they've brought them back. So, Punk is no exception to that. He's not. You know, he's not. I mean, heck, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall got brought back after what they, you know, after leaving for WCW and then trying to put Vince out of business. I'm just saying. You know, I'm just saying. You know, and I, and I could see him if he is, if this does happen, I could see him, like I say, being put on that short leash, having eyes on him, you know, if you will, but not in a paranoia, all that, to get me kind of way, but an understanding way if you will. But, you know, I could see him being in WWE, being on that short lease, understanding he's going to have people watching him closely, you know, but I could see him in being WWE and one of the things I guarantee they could probably promise to give him is freedom on the mic. Just let him be punk. Let him say what he wants to say. And like I mentioned earlier, if it works itself into a program with whoever he's working with, that's good. You know, that's good. So, uh, to me, you know, I look at the fact that W, you know, CM Punk go, returning to WWE is not out of the realm of possibility. I don't. I just think, like a lot of other people, it's just a matter of time. You know, it's just a matter of time, you know, as to, you know, when they make that happen and how it happens and, and all that. You know, basically, it's got, it's got to be the right circumstances, if you will. And I think, I think the right circumstances you know, between, uh, you know, with, between both sides is, you know, me, uh, between both sides meeting, I should say, it's just a matter of time. So, that's just my take on it. But what do you guys think? You think that CM Punk is WWE bound? Let me know down below in the comments as well as the live chat during the premiere. Like the video. You will get a podcast version of this at my PW Rose's Professionals podcast, which you can watch watch and listen to on all your favorite audio podcasts, audio video podcasts, for affiliates except for Pandora, but more specifically, check it out on Spotify to help me out a lot. But guys, give me your thoughts. What do you think? And until then, I am out. You all take care and have a good day.